Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 16th of July 2020 and the time has just gone 10.15 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is silver. Uh, as we can see here, over the last few weeks we've had a nice positive run in silver. It's been rallying for the past month. Yesterday went on to hit, us, hit, its, uh, hit a fresh 10 month high. So it's clear that the kind of wider trend is positive. But we could be in for a bit of a pullback in the silver market. Uh, why do I think that? <coughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, markets don't move in straight lines. Uh, so a bit of a pullback wouldn't be out of the blue. On top of that, this, the, the way things are shaping up on today's daily candle, we could be in, we could be in for a daily bearish engulfing. And for those of you who haven't heard that term before, let's just take a quick look at a textbook example. This here is a lovely example of a bearish engulfing. You have the market moving to the upside. Uh, and notice how the body of this candle here in question um, completely engulfs the body of the previous day's candle. What essentially happens there is that you, you have the upward trend. The market goes on to the, hits the, hits the, um, the new high. It quickly reverses within that time period, um, as you can see here, because the market clearly opened up here and closed down here, so it kind of reversed on itself. And then what you see, what you want to see is the confirmation. It's not just good enough to say, oh, the body of this candle here engulfs the body of that candle there. What you want to see to be more confident of the actual reversal is that in the following candle, you want to see another negative candle as well. So I think we could potentially see that on silver here. So we're already seeing that today's candle, that the body of today's candle is already engulfing the body of yesterday's candle. So we could be, we could be in for a, a, a daily bearish engulfing. And like I said, if that is to be the case, what you also want to see is the move on tomorrow's candle. So I did like to see a move to the downside in tomorrow's candle. Now, if that turns out to be the case, where could we head back to potentially? We could head back to one towards this zone here at 18 spot 80. But keep in mind, silver has had a nice run the last few months. So and keep in mind how did, how far we traveled from the lows of mid June. So even if you even if you move below 18 spot 80, we could even have a deeper correct correction or a deeper pullback. We could even head back towards this zone here down at 18 bucks. Uh, 18 bucks. We saw a fair bit of consolidation in that in that area in the past and if a, if a metric has been important in the past it makes it more likely it'll be of importance in the future. But let's not forget the wider upward trend. Silver has been in a solid upward trend uh, for many months now. Uh, like I said yesterday it had a fresh 10 month high so the bigger picture is positive. So if you do manage um, to kind of turn itself around and if, if you do manage to take out yesterday's high that would be that would, that would signify um, that we're, we're, we're that the the overall positive trend is going is likely to continue. And should we can continue on from from yesterday's high, we could be looking at targeting 19 spot 65. And if we go beyond that, uh, we could be targeting the kind of big psychological number of 20 bucks. Now, if you are going to be trading silver or quite frankly any markets today, please be mindful that we have an update from the European Central Bank. Um, the interest rate announcement will be at 12.45 British summer time. The press conference will be at 13.30 British summer time. Uh, we also have a raft of, of US economic indicators coming out at 13.30 as well. So we could see some volatility being injected into the market on the back of that. Uh, that's all from this week's video. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and have a good trading week.